and my soul rise up ting ting like glitter <laughs> So that's my weight right now, guys. 74.4 kgs, and I've been around 74 kgs for quite some while now. So yeah, first meal of the day after I got hit the gym. It's around 5:30 right now. I'm so excited to start this vlog. So yeah, let's go. The first meal is going to be some Kellogg's Chocos, mainly a carbohydrate high meal. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating. So excited. Meal one right here, around 600 grams of Chocos, and around 200 ml of milk. So this is my first meal of the day. It's in carbohydrates and along with this, I'm also going to have one scoop of whey protein, then hitting the gym. So we have the gym and I'm going to show you guys what I usually have before my pre-workout these days because I've told you a couple of days ago that I've changed my pre-workout drink. So just hold up for a minute. So this right here is my pre-workout drink these days and this is nothing but the brew coffee powder so i have around two tablespoons of brew that's a lot of brew right there okay so i have two three three i mean sorry three tablespoons of brew okay so you can see the level guys it's not some little brew so this is kind of like a pre-workout for my caffeine so this is my source of caffeine i was using a pre-workout before but i'm using this pretty good and a pretty cheap source so i highly recommend you guys to use this if you are not you know willing to pay for a pre-workout and if you want if you still want a pre-workout so this is just a job put it in there do a little shake right here and we have our only very own americano <laughs> one shot of americano before i go home and kill the weight guys So I'm going to do an upper body workout today. It's going to be epic because I'm going to kill it. A lot of bench press and all of these things. So yeah, workout coming up in three, two, one. Somewhere north of Florida, a little west of Georgia. At my best, you're not impressed because I'm a loser. Both my wings are frozen. Cold like Minnesota, pen between the borders with. But I try, I try not to need you like you need me And I try, and I try not to need you like you need me I'm sick and tired of living in LA When the sun is out but there's so much shade Always mentalist. I'm kidding though. She does a lot of work. She does a lot of work, but she relaxes also, and she loves mentalist. And I love the series too. But I think I need to start watching it. But yeah, 
I'm really proud of her because she's doing a lot of big things and you know her life is really hectic and she works a lot. Let us care a little. So I'm going to show you guys like a really life changing thing which you guys can use when you're prepping and uh, which is going to help you get your water intake really in because we all have our struggles with drinking 3-4 litres of water, maybe 5-6 depending on you know, your uh, body or how we used to but water is pretty boring and I accept that but yes I found this guys, I really found this a couple of days when me and Priti were at uh, Nilgiri's so this is the Indian version of a flavoring, a calorie free water flavoring. Okay, I really hope I bought this. Hmm. It's that. Look at this. So, this is called as nutrition, N E W, okay, nutrition. Uh, you can this is available in Nilgiris, but I'm not sure where else it is available. But I guess can do your research and it says sugar free. Now here's the interesting part, look at the macros. Everything is nil. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to use this right now. I'm going to show you guys how to use it again. Can you give me the So according, according to this, it's supposed to mix 25 ml of this liquid right here with around 150 ml of water. But uh, I'm not going to use that much of flavoring. So what I'm going to do is this whole uh, gallon jug holds around 2 litres of water. So I'm going to put in around um, and this is mm. a 500 ml. What? Can I taste it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, wow, that's yeah. lychee. That's like real lychee. It smells like real lychee. You want to smell it? You open panna so it's not. It smells like real lychee, but it doesn't have any kind of fruit content, I think. Because it's zero calories. Mm. That's surprising. Yeah, zero calories, babe. Did that come on the can? Typical. That's typical. Okay, so we need to clean that up. The lady just went. Okay. But I'm going to do this again, I'm going to show you guys, we'll click later. So, not half, okay, just don't take that little things. I'm pouring around 100 ml of this. Yeah, that's, that's about it, that's 100 ml. And I want to fill this gallon jug, and I'm going to show you guys the next clip how good it tastes. So basically, I mix this with 1 litre of water, so there's around 100 ml of liquid of this, and 1 litre of water is a lot. And it tastes amazing, I already had a sip. Want to taste? So this is a lab rat right here. Who gets it and stuff? Tell them what you just did after that. Mm. After it's filled. You'll never know. Go check my Insta story. Okay. Babe, you, you look really hilarious. Can you like even hold it? How does it taste? It's like the real lychee juice. Yeah. It is so good. It okay. is really like it's juice. I'm gonna buy that too. Yeah. Good. Ooh. Prepping? Yeah. It's all about the trip life guys. And uh, I've stopped eating I would say from today that is. So yeah. I'll tell you guys what the whole story is. So here's the thing. I have some fish and some rice with me right now. I have kind of uh, made fish my primary protein source instead of chicken because it's much easier to eat and stuff. So I have around, uh, this is for both of us. So I have around 250 grams of chicken. I have 200, fish. I mean, yeah, sorry guys, fish. Okay. And then I have uh, 200 grams of rice. This is for me. And then there's 150 grams of rice for her. So what I'm going to do right now is give her the, uh, her fish. So this is yours. Okay, come here. Take, take this piece. Okay, so I'm just gonna give her this and these two. Babe. Come here. This and this. Yeah. That's 100. This one too. This? Yeah. This? this one. No, no. This one too. So this is 
150 grams of rice and then 100 grams of fish that's for her and the rest is uh, 200 grams of rice and then 150 grams of uh, fish and I'm also going to add some butter that I have here in the office so I'm just going to have like uh, one packet of butter for some good fats so this is about it this is uh, one of my meals what I'm having right now and I'll keep you updated if I have anything else it's always good when you cut with, pers uh, with someone who makes you accountable for things I actually gave her a real promise saying that I know I'm gonna cut and I'll tell you all about it I've been cheating guys I've been cheating all right what's up guys this is the end of the video and I am shooting from my car after a long time yes because you guys hate it if I shoot from my car but uh, okay I will talk to you guys about something and my prep has officially began and I thought that I had just two months more but turns out I had three more months for the show so you know like we have uh, July August and September so we have three months for the show we have plenty of time to kill it and I say kill it like really kill it okay get down to that low body fat which I was two years back so you know I'm really looking forward for this guys and uh, I also have a confession to make I cheated okay so I mean I want to be transparent with you all and uh, this might sound as clickbaitish it, it is clickbaitish but I really cheated and I told you guys that I've been on a diet for a long time now and I was telling you guys that you know like I've, I've, I have tried my best to stick to my diet but it's just that there are so many things happening right now and it's very hard for me to stay on the diet because I travel a lot I really travel a lot and that I really don't know where I am the next hour and some things just suddenly pop out, pop up and I have to be there. And even if I do carry my meals, it just becomes impossible for me to just go with the flow and, you know, get the get the meals in. So I've been, like, eating a lot and there's so much of stress. So I kind of binge eat. I, I wouldn't call it binge eating, but, you know, when you're stressed, you don't want to have that prep food, guys. You, you know, you want to have some good-ass food. So I've, I did that. So, you know, I cheated. I cheated on the diet. I cheated on you guys. Because I told you that I'm on a prep, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And I did lose some weight. I was serious for like a week. I lost like a couple of kilos. And then I went back up. So, you know. And Kriti has been really upset about it. Because, you know, she kept she, she keeps telling me to stay on track and I don't. And I just feel like I've let you all down. I let her down. Because I, because I basically I told you guys that I'm prepping, right? And you guys think I'm, I'm prepping, but I'm really not. So, you know. I apologize, I accept my mistake and I know that, you know, it's hard, I'm not on track and I have no excuses for it, it's solely my fault and it's my responsibility to maintain or, you know, st stay true to what I tell you guys, so I actually made a promise to Kriti, so this is like, I made a promise to her and I'm making a promise to you all, that from today, I am on my diet and I have been on my diet so far and I am going to continue this, you know, proper dieting. So this is what I wanted to get off my chest for you all. So real shit happening and uh, real prep beginning. So today I weighed in around 74.4 kilos as you guys saw. And I'm going to weigh during every each of my you know uh, episodes. I'll do my best to weigh and show you guys what I'm eating. And I want this to be more about uh, what I'm eating, what I'm training, how I'm training. And all of this stuff. And also a lot of business stuff are coming up. But you know I'll just show you glimpses of it. So that's it guys. I'm sorry that I cheated on you all and I won't do it again. And I, I mean, it's done. I am going to be on prep. So yeah, this is the show. Let's kill it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. And also follow me on all social media and stay tuned for Teams Perfect. It's going to come and hit you hard. And I'll see you all in the next video.